So, do you want me to build you your own personal scoreboard? Well, all you have to do is just simply follow a few quick and easy steps. Just make sure to smash this like button of this video, smash the subscribe button and turn on post notifications and then leave a comment down below letting me know that you have done these things and also leave a comment telling me what kind of squad you want me to build and I can do that for you. But without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. Yo, 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 what is going on guys? It's your boy RRB Plays here back again with yet another FIFA 20 video, with yet another FIFA 20 squad builder on this channel. And as you guys can probably tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys an absolutely amazing, overpowered, probably one of the best 200k teams right now in FIFA 20. And yes, guys, I don't have a team right now, but don't worry, I've played with this team before. I've collected a couple of clips and at the end of the video, I will show you guys those clips and so make sure you guys do stay tuned for that but before I do go ahead and jump into this overpowered squad builder make sure you guys do go ahead and in fact smash that like button subscribe and turn on post notifications so you guys never miss an upload honestly you guys speaking from my heart the support right now recently has just been absolutely insane and I just do love you guys a lot for that but anyways without further ado let's go ahead and jump into this video baby let's get it let's go <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see on your screens right now, for this overpowered 200k hybrid, we're going to be using the 4334 formation. In my opinion, I do really like this formation. It's very attacking, can play some nice, exciting football with it. And just overall, it really, really does work. But there's actually another formation, alternative formation, that you can use with this formation if you don't really like using this formation. Jeez, man, I just said a lot of. I just said formation. A lot of times in one sentence but yeah as i was saying at the end of the video once i've shown you guys the team i'll show you guys a different formation which you can use instead of this one so now that i've cleared that out of the way let's go ahead and jump into the first player of this team and man we do have a beast we do have an absolutely sweaty player in this game and he goes by the name of timo timo werner timo werner i was singing his name in foot champs he's that good i was singing his name in foot champs this guy is an absolute beast man honestly as you guys can see he's got four star week for three star skill moves but 86 finishing 85 attacking positioning 92 sprint speed 93 acceleration and then 83 dribbling 84 ball control and 86 reactions and 81 agility man overall this guy's an absolute beastly player and i highly highly recommend that you guys do indeed go ahead and pick him up because honestly he is an absolute beast of a player man so so insane so overpowered in this game but to partner up with um your boy Timo Werner in that striker not striker in that attacking position we actually do have none other than the man himself I'm actually spending his name wrong it's Gnabry jeez man it's taken me so long but honestly man Serge Gnabry is just another player like I said I did use this team but just again just another player that was just amazing I was singing his name in foot champs too he's that good man he is just so overpowered in FIFA 20 so amazing as you guys can see that again another sweaty player in this game 92 acceleration 89 sprint speed 81 foot champs 86 shot power and 81 long shots and then also got some good dribbling stats as well to top it off 87 dribbling 83 ball control 88 balance and 86 agility but again man honestly i really did love this card and also how can i forget to show you he's got four star skill moves and four star weak foot so honestly a beastly overplayed card and a lot of people do like using him in this game and i can understand why man he is that good but anyways on to the left wing position we actually do have you know this is where the hybrid begins all right guys we do have our first juventus player in this team and he goes by the name of douglas costa the man himself is absolutely insane and let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen a lot of people might look at his shooting his finishing and think nah man i'm not using that card but hold on a second may i just say that this guy can finish okay he is honestly i actually think i might have preferred him the most out of that front three of one again i bring douglas costa like his dribbling's absolutely insane 100 percent got the best dribbling he's definitely the fastest as well having pace and good dribbling like as a pair makes you like it's just so insane like it actually makes them faster I'm, i do believe like, i'm pretty sure that's true if your player has got good agility and dribbling and ball control matched with high pace 
um yeah they basically it does make them kind of fast and i can honestly feel that on douglas costa but honestly man douglas costa can finish and at the end of the video that's why it's important you guys do stay there will be some clips of douglas costa scoring some goals man i'm telling you this guy's absolutely insane and he can 100 percent finish it so just make sure you guys do stay till the end of the video and watch those clips because it is important that you guys can see how this team plays because some of you might you might not believe me but i'm telling you man this team's absolutely insane douglas costa is absolutely insane but honestly man i highly recommend that you guys go ahead and get douglas costa but as you guys can see there he's got five star skill moves as well so let's go ahead and move on to that cam position and in the cam position we actually do have none other than the man himself the young the young lad kai havertz the 84 rated man himself kai havertz again an absolute beast and oopsie daisy we're putting the wrong kai havertz i meant to put an 84 rated one but yeah man kai havertz and i've backed out jesus christ i'm all over the place i'm all over the place but back to kai havertz back to kai havertz as you guys can see that he's six foot two meaning he is dominant in the air but not only that he's got four star weak foot and four star skill moves and then to top it off he's got 89 sprint speed 81 finishing and then 84 dribbling 84 composure 87 ball control and a 78 agility but overall man a very very overpowered card in this game i really did enjoy using him and i do recommend that you guys do go ahead and pick him up but to move now onto that right center mid position we do have none other than the man himself leon goretzka goretzka is an absolute beast of a card again this man can just do anything on the pitch i'm telling you guys he can do anything he can attack he can defend he's just the perfect box to box midfielder and that's why i do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up but as you guys can see there's 84 acceleration uh 78 sprint speed and then 74 standard tackle 73 sliding tackle but also 76 finishing and 83 long shots but overall man goretzka is just so insane he can attack he can defend pretty much do anything you guys want him to and then also not to mention his height um which is six foot two which again means that he's an aerial threat he's dominant in the air he can win those headers but to partner up with goretzka in that center midfield position in that left center midfield position we do have the juventus frenchman uh adrian rabio and rabio is an absolute beast in this game honestly man again he kind of does uh, remind me of goretzka in terms of the fact that he again he can attack he can he can defend but as you guys can see there man high medium work rate six foot four so another dominant player this trio here in midfield are actually quite tall which is nice to have because you know the strikers are relatively small one is not that small um but Gnabry and douglas costa um they're not tall but they're not small you know just average height um but yeah but as you guys can see there man rabio has got 81 sand tackle 75 slide tackle and 83 strength and then also he's got 69 finishing but in my opinion after using him i can clarify that his finishing is a bit better than that honestly um and also 74 sprint speed so again not too bad of a card a, do, a card that i do recommend to you guys so make sure you guys do go ahead and um pick him up but that does complete the midfield and the attack let's go ahead and move on to the defense now guys let's just move on to this overpowered beastly defense so in that left back position we do have a sweaty pacey left back because that's just what we like to do in that left back position as you guys can see there 91 pace um dalba is going to be in the side and honestly man i really do rate having pacey full but someone like dalba because if you're using a center back like we are in the squad builder that isn't the fastest but don't worry the center back we're using can defend like an absolute beast but that isn't the fastest the fullback the pacey fullbacks are there to help cover um for the center backs basically that's on their side so dalbert can help cover the, the center back that i'm about to tell you next um but yeah man that's what i'm saying his pace just helps out a lot he helps catch up with fast people in this game so i do recommend you guys go ahead and um pick him up but before we do go into the left center back position we're going to go ahead and do the right back because you know that's what we just do that's just that's just literally what we do but in that uh, right back position we do have klosterman and klosterman lucas klosterman is an absolute beast of a player man the german uh, the german player is just cheap overpowered and just simply gets the job done he does what he needs to do and that's why i do like using him in this game but as you guys can see that 80 stand tackle 79 slide tackle 90 sprint speed and 79 acceleration so on average his pace is about 85 so as you guys can see there 85 pace is his base stat so yeah on average it is about 85 but let's go ahead and move on to the center barque um partnership now guys so in that left center back position we do have none other than the man himself giorgio 
Chiellini and Giorgio Chiellini man is an absolute beast and for some reason where is he where is he I don't know oh there we go 89 rated Giorgio Chiellini honestly like I said he is not the fastest that's who I was talking about he isn't the fastest but do not worry guys as this guy can defend like an absolute beast as you guys can see there 91 stand tackle 94 defensive awareness 89 slide tackle um 88 interceptions 89 jumping and 89 strength and 91 aggression but honestly man he is an absolute beast he will defend for you he will save you this man can be your saving grace when someone is you know just just hitting you or hit just constantly attacking you this man's going to be there to clean up the piece but also it's not all just about Chiellini it's also about the, the other partnership the other partner okay in that right center back position uh, Chiellini's partner is going to be none other than the man himself Sula Nicholas Sula and again it's just an absolute beast of a card in FIFA 20 man I honestly highly do recommend um, that you guys go ahead and pick him up man 87 sprint speed and yes I know his acceleration isn't too good but on average his pace still is quite high probably around the 70 mark um, but yeah man I, like I said again um, his base card his base stat is the 72 pace um, so yeah man he's quite fast for a centre back so I do recommend you guys go ahead and pick him up but again defensively again he's just absolutely insane 89 stand tackle 87 slide tackle 94 strength and 81 interception so let's go ahead and complete this team by moving onto the goalkeeper but don't worry guys we're not gonna end the video yet here i still got the clips to show you but before i do the clips i'm gonna show you guys an alternative formation to use with this team um but yeah man in the goalkeeper position we actually do have none other than the man himself giorgio donnarumma uh no juan luigi donnarumma sorry not giorgio donnarumma juan luigi donnarumma and i do like donnarumma in this game he's got 90 diving um 80 handling 74 kicking and 90 reflexes and 80 goalkeeper positioning but overall man an absolute beast of a card i really do recommend that you guys go ahead and get this team and this team is absolutely insane it will do damage in foot champs and in division rivals but now onto the formation switch obviously you still can use this formation the normal formation that i had early on screen um because that formation does 100 percent work with this team but um, I'd probably say this formation could be better in, uh, in some ways um, but if you do convert to this formation then all you need to do remember bear in mind you're going to convert to this formation in game all you need to do is literally just put Douglas Costa left cam one up top Gnabry right cam and then in the central cam position Kai Havertz the two DMs Goretzka and Rabio, and the defensive lineup will stay the same so that does complete the 200k squad builder in FIFA 20 let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section but before I do end the video remember if you want me to build your own personal squad builder make sure you guys do in fact smash the like button of this video like i did mention earlier and um, smash the subscribe button turn on post notifications and also leave a comment let me know you followed the steps and also leave another comment asking what kind of team you want me to build for you and i'll do it for you but anyways guys it has been your boy rb plays i'm probably guessing you guys are sick of my waffling so i'm gonna end it here and just man enjoy the clips man but enjoy, just just enjoy the clips i'm gone peace out baby Thank you.